So spinal cord stimulation, uh, how does it work and what are the conditions it's good for? So spinal cord stimulator is, uh, we put a lead epidurally on top of your spinal cord and it's gonna jam the signal that is going through your brain that's producing the pain. It's really good for patients that have failed back syndrome, uh, radicular symptoms, peripheral diabetic neuropathy, and a condition called CRPS. It works really well. You do a trial in the office, takes about 20 minutes, and then you go trial it at home for seven to 10 days, and then you come back, and if you like it, we do a surgery that takes about 35, 40 minutes, and then that's it. Now, so they're in your office. Yes. You put a little lead wire yes. into their back near mm -hmm. the spinal cord. Yes. And you turn it on, it confuses the signal to the brain or interrupts the signal to the brain. Yes. So they don't feel pain. Exactly. Does it work right away? It, most of the time it works immediately. So they go, this is good. This is it. This is but good. But you still send them home for a Yes, to we, so we want to know that you're able to do, are you able to sleep better? Are you less grouchy at home? Okay. You know, um, are you able to do your activities of daily living? Some people have so much pain, they can't stand up and wash the dishes, right? So are you able to do that? Are you, what is it that you like to do? Well, I like to cook. Are you able to cook now? Yes, I'm able to Are you able to take care of your grandkids? Are you able to get So it brings you back to activity. Exactly. Now, now, what about those people, and we talked about this on the long interview, people that had a fusion, but they're still having pain. You say it's great for those patients. Yes, it, it works great for Why? failed back Why is it good? Because sometimes we don't know what nerves got damaged during the surgery, so this is just kinda, it's kinda like a shotgun approach to all those nerves causing the pain. And so I can jam those signals so that it stops producing the pain coming from your lower back. So the nerve that goes up to your brain, mm -hmm. you call it jammed. Mm -hmm. You're just kind of confusing it, interrupting you're kind of it. You're confusing it and interrupting it and you're telling them, hey, stop, you're not having pain. Because on the x-ray it might look normal, but you can still have pain. And those are the hard patients to, to treat because they keep going back to their surgeon and the surgeon says, well, there's nothing else to do here. And it's true, there's no other surgery that you need. You, you're probably better off with a stimulator. Now, what about those patients that have been told, and I have a friend right now going through this, you need another fusion. Are those people especially should go? They should especially go to an, a pain, get, management, a, a like pain management consult. Because you're going to decide and you're going to give them certain therapies that are, we're going to try to improve your functionality. And you're able to test it ahead of time. Yes. So you know, it's not like surgery where you know you get fused and that's it, right? Are, are there some patients that are afraid of it? Like say, no doc, I don't want to do any kind of... Some patients are afraid of it, but most of those patients, once you uh, answer their questions, they feel better and uh, you do the procedure and they see the difference and you know, they end up getting the stimulator. In Albuquerque. Yes. And I know you can't be exact about this, but would you say there's thousands of people in Albuquerque that could benefit from spinal cord simulation Absolutely. that aren't getting it? Absolutely. Tens of thousands? Thousands, tens of thousands, yes. Really? And there's all these patients that, you know. Who's not telling them about it? Is it? I think it's lack of access. New Mexico has a big problem, right? It's a poor state. Okay. We don't have a lot of doctors that will do it. And uh, Medicaid, Medicare, I mean, Medicare, it's covered by Medicaid, all insurance. It's covered by all insurance. You just have to do the paperwork and get it done. But and once you get there. I like what you told me over there in confidence. Mm -hmm. which it seems like a given that, but you said, I'm not gonna do the procedure if I don't think it's gonna work. Absolutely, why would you do a procedure that doesn't work? So you get to test trial it, and if it works, it works and then we implant it. It's the same thing with the radio frequency ablation. If it doesn't work, then I didn't find your pain trigger. I need to go map you or I need to go back and find out what is causing the pain, right? So you identify the nerve. You have to identify that's, that. That's causing the signal to the brain that's pain. Exactly and you can ablate it or burn or heat the nerve. Exactly. And block the signal. And block the signal, or you can do a spinal cord stimulator, if it's from the lower back, and do several nerves at the same time. Nice. But you have to come in and talk to us so that we can tell you this is what's best for you.